What's up troublemakers? Mulcher with Rumble Lab here to bring you the best stuff, science and engineering that happened this past week-ish. Anyway, let's jump right into it. First thing you're not going to want to miss is Prusa gave us this awesome compilation of the coolest things that happened at the Bay Area Maker Fair this past year. As always, linked in the doobly-doo below. Diana, better known as Physics Girl, shows us how to create full vortex rings in the pool. If you haven't seen her original pool vortex video yet, you've got to check it out. It's a great party trick next time you're at the pool. Wired does a pretty cool job with this optical illusion video. Astronaut forgets that he's in space. This one-legged robot's back and hops better than ever before. A tadpole goes through metamorphosis to turn into a frog. AI brings Mona Lisa to life. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's still pretty crazy. I can only imagine how awesome this will be for movies in the future, but then also how you can, you know, fake stuff. Like it may, how do you know it's really me sitting here and doing this and not some AI? Everyday Astronaut gives us an incredible rocket engine crash course. Insider shows us how chains are made. Wait a minute. This is how it's made. So this is basically Inception. CERN, the organization behind the Large Hadron Collider, wants to go bigger. They admit they don't really know what we'll learn from it, but they say it's our best bet for better understanding the world of the really small. But it comes at a price. They guess it will cost a whopping $23 billion. Remember, $23 billion. We'll talk about that later. Where's Ant-Man when we need him? I feel like he would do it for free. I'm curious though, what do you think? Do you think this $23 million should be spent on exploring? Or is it better off spent doing something like drilling wells in Africa? Let me know in the comments below. I wanna hear what you think. And then the thing you're probably most curious about, Mark Rober and Mr. Beast talked logistics behind planting 20 million trees for Mr. Beast's 20 million sub. Now I don't know if you know Mr. Beast, but he's known for doing crazy challenges. But 20 million trees, let's talk about that. They say an experienced forester can hand plant a thousand saplings a day. 10 days of this, you have 10,000 saplings. 100 days, 100,000 saplings to get to a million, that's a thousand days. Now, each time we double the number of trees, we double the amount of time Beast is out here planting. So by the time he gets to 20 million, it's probably taken about 60 years if he's lucky. Now, with Mark Rober's machines, he can probably do it in a tenth of the time. So we're talking six years. Still, that's not realistic. Who's gonna spend six years planting trees? But with teamwork, the sky is the limit. And that's why Mr. Beast is not talking about doing it by himself, he's going to do a YouTuber challenge. Because 20 million is such a large number, we can't even wrap our minds around it. But if anyone can pull off this 20 million tree challenge, I totally believe in Mark Rober and Mr. Beast. And then for our weekly challenge, I want to show you a super fun way to test your friends. I tried it on all of my friends and none of them got it right, except for one. Draw a number line and then draw 1 million at the halfway point. Then ask your friend to draw a line where they think 1,000 belongs on this number line. Most people actually guess around here, but that's wrong. 1,000 is actually right on top of the zero. This is cool because it shows how hard it is to wrap our minds around big numbers, like Mr. Beast's 20 million trees. For extra fun, you can ask them to put 20 million on the piece of paper. A lot of times people will put 20 million right at the very end right here, but actually that's 2 million. 20 million is actually all the way off of the paper. So yeah, test a friend and see if they can pin down exactly where 1,000 belongs. I bet most of them will get this wrong. I did. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. And to make sure you don't miss the weekly rundown, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell next to it, and we'll be back here same time same place next week. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. This week's hilariousness award goes to this man getting some payback on his rooster. Ah, verdad, cabrón? Ah, verdad? Eh? Eh, cabrón? Eh? Si, no deja dormir? Ah, verdad que no es la misma? I still think that's so amazing.
If I miss anything this week or you see something this coming week that you think belongs in this video, send me an email at rumble at rumblelab.com and I'll see you this time next week. Peace. Pues me gustaría, la verdad. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>